Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I know you guys can see the background is different. I'm trying something new and honestly, I'm kind of liking how it looks. I'm hoping it doesn't look different once I like edit the video, but so far, I like it. Let me know if you guys like it too because this feels more natural, more, I don't know. So for today's video, I'm actually going to be doing this look. And this is a glowy, natural look, I feel. Especially in the summer, I feel like glowy makeup is super, super in. But a lot of people that are oily might not want to try this. Let me just say I was surprised okay if you want to know how i get this look go ahead and keep watching but before we get started go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already like this video and turn on the little notification bell so you know when i upload and we live happily ever after so okay let's go ahead and get started okay so i'm gonna bring you guys in a little bit because i feel like this whole new setting is a little bit far <laughs> Okay, now that I have you guys zoomed in, the first thing that I'm going to use is going to be the e.l.f. Luminous Matte Makeup Primer with Acai Berry. I think you say Acai. This is the second time I've used this. I feel like it works. It's nothing like super crazy. If you're super oily, well, I don't know because I'm super oily, but I mean, it's, it's like an okay primer if you're trying to be luminous. This is something that I would like rarely want to be, but... For the sake of the video, we're going to go for Luminous. It almost feels just like moisturizer. It doesn't feel like a primer. Now for foundation, I'm going to go in with the Infallible Pro Glow, which I love, love, love the... I think it's the Pro Matte. I've never used this foundation because I tend to stay away from like glowy things or luminous things because I'm already oily. So I feel like... That's not something that I want to do, but to make it even more glowy and a little bit more luminous -y, I'm going to use a little bit, like a tiny bit of the NYX Away We Glow Liquid Booster, and this is in the color Glazed Donut. So it's going to be like a little, 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 I'll show you. Okay, so I don't know if you can see, but I'm putting the foundation here. This might be a little bit too much. Actually, I don't think it's enough. It's really watery, so be careful if you're doing it on the back of your hand like I am. It will run away. And then taking the glow thing and just doing like a boop. That's literally like one drop that I used. And I'm just going to mix it all in together. It probably really won't do anything, but I'm just going to add it just to be a little bit extra glowy. I'm going for like a natural glow kind of foundation moment. So I'm really not trying to be like extra full coverage. And to buff this out, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Buffing Foundation Brush. Now this foundation, it's, I mean, this brush is a lot easier to use if you're trying to go for like a natural look because it won't, like with the, with a, um, how do you call it? With a sponge, the foundation will be more I don't know how to explain it but if you're trying to go for like a more natural look I would suggest a little buffing brush like this I haven't really used like a brush to set foundation in I mean to set to do foundation in a, such a long time this feels so weird right away I can tell that this is gonna be really glowy <laughs> okay I know I said that we're going for like a more natural glowy look but I feel like there's spots that I need a little bit more foundation so I'm just gonna add like little drops where I feel like I need more coverage so now that we're actually looking like a glazed donut I'm gonna go ahead and conceal and this is a 16 hour camo concealer and I'm using medium sand honestly it kind of looks like it does look like a glazed donut but I feel like it made me a little more tanny like it looks like I was out in the sun having fun times I'm actually not gonna be setting my face because so I'm trying to go for like a glowy look. I feel like setting my under eye will make it a little bit not so natural. Also, I find that it's a lot easier to actually touch up if it's starting to get creasy or extra oily or something like that. I can just take my makeup sponge and just kind of dab around the eye or wherever it is that I'm getting oily or cracky. 
So I will be taking this with me throughout the day just so that way I can touch up if I need to. That's why I'm not setting because I feel like if I set, it'll just look extra cakey and we don't want that. So now usually for bronzer, I use a powder bronzer because I don't know. That's just what I prefer. But for the sake of the video, I'm actually going to be using a stick uh, bronzer. Because I'm trying to not to use any powder on my skin just so that way it won't take away from the glowy naturalist natural-esque look that we're going for. So I'm going to take, this is the Ulta Sculpting Stick in the color Contour. So I'm just going to do a little line. This color is not super dark, especially once you blend it out. This is going to be more of like a natural contour looking thing. So I'm just going to take the other side of the sponge, blend it out. And I don't know if you can see, but it blends out super easy and it's really not really dark. So you can work with it and just kind of add on if you need more. So I'm just going to add a little bit more on the cheeks because I feel like I need to be a little bit more snack. So now that we have that, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of highlight. Now for highlight, I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. Jelly Highlighter and this is the color Bubbly. This highlighter is like so cool. I don't know if you guys have ever seen it. It's like super wiggly. Ooh, a little bit of that and dab it along my cheek. And then with the same sponge that I've been using, blend it out. Now I'm not going to add too much highlight because I feel like the face is already glowy. So now that that's done, we're going to move on to the eyes. But with the eyes, it's really, I'm going to do something super simple, nothing crazy, just like two colors and we're done. Because the main focus that I wanted to do was on the face since I'm trying to go, or no, I keep saying that. Because we're doing a glowy natural look okay eyes are done so now i'm gonna move on to the lips for lip liner i'm gonna use the nyx pen uh, lip pencil in ever and i'm just gonna do a little bit of an outline not a lot and for lipstick i'm using the lipis lip the color pop i'm using the color pop lip lippy stick in lumer lumiere I think just a tiny bit because it's a lot darker than I thought it was gonna be but on top of that I'm adding the NYX butter gloss in the color creme brulee hmm I wasn't liking that combo so I took off a, most of the lipstick and I'm just gonna try okay that looks a little bit more nude than with the lipstick on there okay so this is the finished look I'm a little bit surprised because I thought once I did like a glowy makeup, a little bit more luminous, I was not going to like it because I am a very oily person. So I thought I was just going to look like super oily, but in a way it kind of just looks like a natural glow, like, like a healthy glow, like a glow from within. And I'm all for that. I like that. So honestly, I think one of the key things to do here is, oh, wait, I almost forgot. I'm gonna set my face with a little bit of matte, matte, ugh, matte magic mist and set from elf and that's because I just wanted to stay like this looking like this all day and not get like oily throughout the day <sighs> just a tiny bit of that I already said it I really liked it so hope you guys enjoyed it and hope you guys can kind of Try this if you're oily because I know a lot of people that are oily might not go for like the glowy look. So I think this is a very good option and also not setting your face or under eye. It's a really good tip I feel. Thanks again for coming back, staying all the way to the end and bye!